The Utah LGBTQ Plus Chamber of Commerce is a business association. It's an organization which is made up of a bunch of members. Currently we have over 260 businesses who are members of the chamber. And the chamber um, does work to advocate for those businesses, for the economic health of the area. A lot of chambers are geographically based. This chamber is different in that it's a diversity chamber. We share the same goals or similar goals with geographic-based chambers, but then we have the added element of a community group. It's a resource specifically for queer and allied business owners where they can come together as part of something bigger, something more, not just about taxes. <laughs> So one way that I would break down um, and really simplify what the Chamber does and what the LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce does in the local community is empower community members, specifically business owners who are LGBTQ, queer, and or allies. So as the Ambassador Chair, we were actually recently able to look at the events that are happening throughout the year and based on the funding that we have, allocating those funds to support efforts um, all the way down south and then also north, so Ogden, Logan, um, and just making sure that those funds are distributed throughout the whole state and really empowering um, efforts that other communities are taking. Yeah, volunteer opportunities with the uh, Utah LGBTQ Plus Chamber of Commerce. We are a small organization, but we do quite a bit. Uh, one of the things that we do throughout the state is we participate and sponsor different pride events and other small events throughout the state. And we're oftentimes looking for people to help us come table and be at these events and, um, and talk about the chamber. Oftentimes we look to our own member community so that they can come to these events and promote their own business at the time that they are also talking about the chamber. Other than that, one of the programs that we run is called Workplace Connect and it's a round table group for employee resource group leaders and DEI leaders in more corporate larger businesses. That group gets together and meets a few times a year to discuss topics of importance like transitioning at work and so forth. But we also, as a group, volunteer and give back to community. We've helped um, Project Rainbow Utah with a lot of flag building. We've helped serve a lot of meals at the VOA Homeless Youth Resource Center and so forth. So those events are going on. And then our two signature events we need volunteers for as well. We've just past our Queer Food Festival, which is every May, and that's our fun celebratory springtime event and also our membership drive. We do use and need volunteers for that. And then in the fall, back to school time, a little more serious, we do our economic summit, our more educational event in September, and we can use some volunteers for that event as well. So um, my name's Jess Burns, and I'm the board chair of Safe Zone, which is the 501c3 portion of the chamber. And what we do is we teach LGBTQ competencies to um, mostly businesses. Our goal is to do small businesses that really maybe can't afford to get that training elsewhere. However, we also um, perform this service for larger businesses as well, um, and really any member of the chamber. The competencies that we teach both as part of Safe Zone and then just part of my everyday life are things that you do all the time. It's how you interact with the person at a gas station. It's how you interact with uh, you know, the employee that you just ran into at Target. It really is the thing that you do is when you react to anybody that you meet on the street. And that's one of the reasons that I think it's important, but it's great because it's something you can do in your everyday life as well. Um, and then I just get to do it f for fun with groups that really are interested um, with, uh, especially with our chamber members, we have, like I said, big businesses and small, and it's just a really cool opportunity to do that, to affect everyday life. So we just passed our 10th anniversary. It was formed in 2012 by a small um, business owner, a gay man, um, Michael Aaron, who runs Q Salt Lake Magazine to this day and the Q Pages directory. He had the idea, like I'm a small business owner and a gay man and I would like to connect with other queer people who are um, 
who have some of the same challenges I do. Things like how to do the accounting at my company and um, you know how to position my company to thrive and survive and remain a viable organization and so forth. So he basically just called some of his friends and said, let's stick together and start networking and talking and um, helping each other out. And that's how it started and that's what the chamber still is. So why is it important that there's a diversity chamber? Because people in marginalized communities, including LGBTQ folks, are marginalized. Um, they don't have the same level of access to some of the more traditional places where business happens. You know, you know business doesn't always just happen in the office or in the shops. The business is happening at church or on the golf courses. So it is necessary for diversity chambers to create communities, networking communities, so that the people who are part of those communities can thrive and their businesses can thrive. Yeah, um, visit utahlgbtqchamber.org. Um, also, you can visit safezoneutah.org. As you were talking to Jess earlier, Safe Zone Utah is our, our charitable giving arm and also the arm of which we um, do uh, trainings and connect businesses with resources. I would advise anybody to reach out to the Chamber of Commerce with any ideas or any um, initiatives that they have in mind or any ways that they are seeking to be empowered as, a, as an LGBT community member, business owner, ally, um, and just opening up that dialogue, opening up those conversations, opening up to a collective solution, um, collective impact that we all have and we all hold.